Time for sports with Nathaniel Atta. Good evening. Hey, good evening, Israel. And if only we could repeat the things we say off air. <laughs> you really want me to repeat that? <laughs> well, we'll have to talk about athletics now. Did you play any uh, sports back in uh, Okwapiman School? No, I remember. I recall I ran, I attempted a 100-meter race. I mean, it was a disappointment. <laughs> and you almost collapsed, I guess. Well, I didn't collapse, but um, my performance was poor. It was just so not your I, thing. I just forgot about it. <laughs> Well, we'll be talking athletics uh, and some football this evening. And welcome to the Sports Bulletin here on Joy News Prime. And of course, um, there's been a lot of focus on the recently ended Northern Regional Circuit put together by the Ghana Athletics Association. Now, there's been the stressing of the need for local athletes to get adequate resources to help them develop their talent. And this is according to Alaji T. H. Mahama, who is the Northern Regional Sports Development Officer. In the past, we had national athletes who could go for international competitions, a number of them. Today, we are getting some of them getting to the juvenile championship, and we are only hoping that as they are coming up, if we groom them and support them, they will be national heroes. They have the potential. It's left to us to give them the needed support and push so that they can represent the nation sometime, someday. Locally, what I've observed is that uh, this lack of resources to give them the needed equipment and materials that can help them train effectively so that they can improve upon the potential they have in them. All right, so uh, that was uh, Laji T. A. Mahama. He is the uh, Northern Regional Chairman of the Ghana Athletics Association. Let's move to some football now. And um, he is uh, showing another side of himself which is being very vocal about a sport that he's very passionate about. And I'm talking about Coach Godwin Atram, the coach of Accra Great Olympics who've made a return to the Ghana Premier League. Well, after uh, a, a chain of um, not too balanced results, he is looking forward to a win as the Ghana Premier League gets into match day four. Now, he says that the game against Borga All-Stars on Sunday is one in which his side will be looking forward to the three points. It's a very difficult game because Bulga, they have lost also three games, I think, on the road. Likewise, Sharks, who came to play and got a draw today. So it's, a going, to be, it's going to be a fighting football. But I got no choice to go there and then win. That's the only way to redeem these two points that I've, I've uh, squandered today. The players are playing according to tactics. It's just that sometimes they lose most of their, they lost most of their concentration. Because concentration is the game. It's nothing more. The tactic can be there, but if the concentration is not there, there's no way you perform. Yeah, I believe they are good enough. I, have, I still have most of the, the, uh, the players who played Division I last year, the old players, they are there. If I see that they are coming up, I have signed uh, Isiyama Bedou. He's there. He's an experienced player, but he's not ready yet. All right, so an idea of what you should be expecting this weekend in terms of the action in the Ghana Premier League. There we go. Uh, West African Football Academy, they welcome Adriana Stars, who currently are there at the top of the league table. Um, Inter Allies play Ibusian Dwarfs, Accra Hearts of Oak. They welcome Wa All Stars, the defending league champions, a big game indeed, at the Accra Sports Stadium. Amina Sharks will look forward to returning to winning ways at their home ground after that loss in the last home game against Tema Youth. Ashanti Gold play Kumasi Asante Kotoko, a great game of locking horns and renewing rivalry. And of course, um, Bichem United, they host Brikum Chelsea, a uh, derby for the uh, Bronga Hafu Bay sides. Of course, um, Liberty Professionals will play Midyama SC. 